Shalom. Hi. In this course, we will learn about 22 passes to divinity. But actually, according to the mystic Kabbalah, there are 32 passes to divinity. The 22 letters and the 10 spherot. The 10 spherot are actually called also the tree of life. And this tree of life are 10 attributes, 10 aspects of the energy of God. And all these 10 spirit and 22 letters together creating the Garden of Eden, Paradise, which has 32 passes that we can follow them and go through them and to get and to reach to the oneness, to the divinity of our own and to the oneness, to this feeling like a cell inside the body and not like a separate body from the others. So what are, the, what are these 10 spheres? We will not get so much deep into them. I just want to tell you about them because I want to show you a technique how to fulfill these 10 aspects, these 10 spherot, which, uh, which we can find them also in our body. We can fulfill them with light of the name of God. So maybe we'll start by uh, the sefirot. So let me show you where are the ten sefirot in our body. The sefirot are similar in a way like a chakras inside our body, but, but different. Chakras are vort vortexes of energy that are bringing energy in, and the sefirah is more hologramic, it's more like a ball, it's sefirah. So we start on the top, this sefirah is called the crown, keter. This is the crown, the keter. Then to the right, on the right side, we have here the sefirah called chokhmah, wisdom. In the other side, we have Bina. Bina is understanding. Then we have a Sphira and not a Sphira. It's not part of the ten. Here, a Sphira, a hidden Sphira called Da'at, means knowing. On the right side is the Sphira Chesed. Chesed is mercy and actually grace. Then to the left side, we have Gvura. Gvura is the... Gvura is strength. Yes, Gvura is strength here. I was looking for the translation of it. Here in the center, it's a very big chakra. It's all this area. This is Tiferet. It is the sphira of the heart. Tiferet is also beauty in English. Then we have in the right side Sfirat Netzach. Netzach is victory. And then we have on the left side Hod. Actually, it's not just the left side. It's the left side and the left leg is Hod, which is Splendor. And Netzach is, of course, also the Sphira and also the right leg. Then we have here, near this area of the womb and this sexual area, is called Yesod, which means foundation. And beneath the foundation, on our legs, we have the Sphirat Malchut. Malchut means kingdom. So. This is kingdom, this is the crown, and in between the crown and the kingdom, there is the king and the queen that we are, and we have to evolve and reveal this missing part through bringing light to this firot. And now we will bring the light by calling, recalling the name of God. 
when Moses uh, was in Mount Sinai and God talked to him and he sent him a message and told him you should go now to Egypt and talk to Paro and tell him let my people go and then Moses asked him no but if they will ask me who sent me so what shall I tell them about you what is your name and God said to him Eheye Asher Eheye this is my name and what does it mean, this sentence, Eheye Asher Eheye? First, I would like to, to show you how is it written. Eheye Asher Eheye. In English, Eheye Asher Eheye. It means, I am that I am. And we can say, I am that I am. Roni, you can see Roni. As the uh, I am that I am, which means we can understand it in different ways. One way is saying like, I am this mighty God up there in the sky. I am that I am. This is the way that most people saw it most of the time. But now we can have another understanding just by switching the place of the comma instead of I am that I am, we will switch the comma and we will say, I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that tree I am. I am that land I am. I am that wind I am. I am that sun I am. I am that grain of a sand I am. I, and then I can be and feel the unity with everything that I see surround me. And I am that, you know. My husband is here in front of me, so I am that, I am. And then I am unifying, feeling oneness with everything that I can see. And this is the name of God. And actually, if we will see it in the Hebrew letters, it means much, much, much more deeper meanings in the name but anyway now we will fulfill all our spirit within our body with this name so i can show you again Eheye asher Eheye. so we will say it like in a meditation for 10 times first time we mean to fulfill down the kingdom the malchut sphere so with our hand down like an arrow we will mean down and we will say now all of us together ten times Eheye Asher Eheye so let's start Eheye Asher Eheye 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 Breathe deeply inside and see all your body enlightening with the light of infinite. It's like we have ten cups within our body and like a champagne all of them starting to fulfill from the top to the bottom
my exhale and open slowly your eyes. Thank you.